Hi everyone, this is Yashvi Patel and you are watching my YouTube channel. So today in this video, we will learn how to perform geometrical transformation of images. So while training our neural networks, we need a vast amount of data, right? And almost all of the cases, model performance increases by adding some more data. So one way to generate more data is to apply some geometrical transformation to the images. This process is also called data augmentation or image augmentation. In this video, we will go through some techniques to perform geometrical transformation on images. So let's get started. So basically, we will perform these five operations, scaling, translations, rotation, affine transformation, perspective transformation. So let's see how we can do that. First, I'm importing some libraries. And I have this image, okay? The first operation, I am showing you how to scale an image. Scaling is nothing, it's resizing an image, okay? So we will, we will use the simu.resize function. Here we have to specify the scaling parameters, x and y. So I am scaling by two in both x-axis and y-axis. And we have, uh, we have to specify this interpolation technique. We have three types of techniques. We have inter area for if we want to shrink an image, we can use this inter area. If we want to zoom an image, we can use this inter cubic. Inter cubic is slow, so often we use interlinear. Okay. So I am using this interlinear and zooming my image by two. So you can see this image is zoomed out. So this is how you perform scaling on images. So now let's see the translation. Translation is shifting the object location, like shifting to the right or left, okay? So transformation is done by this transformation matrix. So you can specify this Tx and Ty. So I have created this transformation matrix 1001 and I will shift it by Tx is 100 and Ty is 50. I'm using this warp affine function where I will pass my where I will pass my image, my transformation matrix, and my image columns and views. Okay. Now if you see the transformated image, it it transformed to right. Okay. Now let's see how to perform rotation on image. So rotation is Rotating by some angle like 90 degree rotate, 45 degree ro rotate. So for rotation, we use this get rotation matrix 2D. We need a rotation matrix. So I will pass my columns and rows uh, divide, divided by 2 and it's, my, uh, and it's rotating angle that is 90 degree and, and 1 because I, want, I don't want to do uh, scale my image. I want my image as it is. Using the same function warp assign, I am passing this image, this matrix and this columns and sorry, this columns and rows. And if you see the result, you can see my image is rotated to the left side by 90 degrees. Now affine transformation. So in affine transformation, like in this chessboard, like I have this chessboard image, if these two lines are parallel, after the transformation also, these two lines will remain parallel. So it the image, this image after the transformation will look like this. So what we will need to do, I need to pass this three points. I need to pass three points like here I am passing 50, 50, 250 and 50, 200 and its target point like in the resulting image where I want to transform my back point. So I have add, uh, passed 10, 100, 250 and 100, 250. So getting this matrix by get a fine transform by points one and points two, I, I got my matrix and this matrix I will pass in this warp affine function and you can see this result. This image is transformed to this. Okay, now let's see the perspective transformation. 
in the perspective transformation if there is straight lines to image it will result into the straight line in the target image also like here this straight line will result in a this straight straight line in a target image also to apply this transformation you need four points from the input image and corresponding four points to the target image and also among these four points at least three of them should not be collinear so i have passed this four points this you can see this matrix this point this point this point and this point i have transformed it to this kind of result the result will be look like this so in this way you can perform this type of transformations on your images before passing it to deep learning model or any other model so this is it for today we learned how to perform geometric transformation on images like scaling rotation translation fine transformation perspective transformation if you like this video then do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel until then bye bye